Hi everybody, this is Bogus Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Platinum Edition Batman Armor Azrael figure. So before we take a look at Azrael, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that he comes with. So first up, you get your standard DC Multiverse base, but he stands very well on his own. Even with those big wings there on his back, I'm surprised that he stands so well without the use of this base. Up next you get his data file with a cool shot from the comic there. I do wish they would have altered the Platinum's card, that way this color was blue instead of red, but it's not. That's the reason this is the Platinum though, is because it's blue. And if you want to read that, go ahead and pause that now. So taking a look at the sculpt of the helmet, McFarlane Toys did a phenomenal job on this. That metallic blue really stands out. It's shimmery too, it's cast in a shimmery metallic blue color. And that looks fantastic. I, I do feel like they're supposed to be red up here if I remember right above the visor. I feel like there should be a red dot right here. But other than that, I think this helmet sculpt looks incredible. And so does the rest of the figure. You get this new chest piece right here with three holes in each shoulder to attach the wings to. It's done in that same metallic blue color with a nice glossy black bat logo. The wings look really nice. They're detailed very nicely. You can see all the rivets and everything on them. They're also cast in that metallic blue collar. Though they do feel kind of brittle. It feels like they're cast in a very brittle plastic. So definitely be careful with this figure because of that. You do get some reused parts from the previous, uh, the Walmart Azrael figure. But I think reusing those parts is actually really smart. The gold on this really stands out. It's shimmery just like the blue is. That looks really good. You get new forearms down here with the uh, hoses that run to the back of the suit right there. If I remember right, I feel like these hoses might have been gold. But I still think they look really good in the metallic blue. These pieces right here are really soft. I really thought they'd be brittle plastic, but no, they're really soft, so you don't have to worry about breaking them or anything when you're posing the figure around. You get brand new fisted hands for this figure, and I think they look good. I do wish that we would have gotten a set of open hands with this too. A set of interchangeable open hands doing this, that would have looked really cool. The arms have some really awesome texturing to them. Though you can see on this one, the plastic is scuffed up a little bit on mine. And honestly, that's probably just mine, but mine has a little bit of scuffage right there. The pouches this time are done in a darker yellow color. On the previous Walmart version, I feel like the uh, pouches were more of like a kind of a mustardy collar, and you get that very, very awesome texturing on the pants right here. That looks very awesome. I always love it when McFarlane Toys goes above and beyond on the texturing on figures. It always looks very awesome. Here is the Walmart Azrael Batman compared to this version, and you can see the parts that they reused. They reused the legs, upper and lower torsos, and shoulders. The only new parts on this figure, of course, the head, the uh, chest piece with the wings, the hands, and the forearms. Which, as I said, I think it's a pretty smart reuse, so the reuse there doesn't bother me. So now let's go ahead and go over his articulation. He has a ball-jointed head that can look up all the way. He can look down all the way. He can move his head side to side very nicely. He has ball-jointed shoulders. They're a little crunchy, but they do move out all the way. These shoulder pieces are really soft, so they don't hinder the articulation. You get some very nice butterfly joints right there. You get a swivel at the bicep. Double jointed elbows that can bend all the way in, even with these really big gauntlets right here. He has bow jointed wrists that can move up and down very slightly, and you can only spin it that far. This piece does get in the way, so you can only move it like that. So the articulation and hands are pretty hindered. He has an ab crunch that can move back all the way, but you will run the risk of uh, knocking these into the legs. And as I said, these are really brittle, so I don't want to bump them too much because they might break. He can crunch forward a nice bit. He can move side to side up here at the torso and side to side down here at the waist. And you can combine those to get some movement like that very nicely. He has hips that can do a complete split. He can actually do one of those Jean-Claude Van Damme splits. He can kick forward all the way, even with these pouches. I was really surprised by that. He can kick back all the way, but then you get him kicking back into those wings. He has a very nice thigh swivel, double jointed knees, which again, you have to be careful. They can bend back that far. He has ankles that can move down all the way, up all the way, spin all the way around, and toe articulation that can move up all the way. So now, let's do some size comparisons. 
So first up here he is next to the Walmart exclusive version of himself, and man, this one has gotten incredibly hard to find. I remember a time when these were lining the shelves and eventually went on clearance, but now they're impossible to find at a decent price. It's crazy how much this figure has shot up in value. Here he is next to the Nightfall Batman. Here he is next to Catwoman. Here he is next to Nightwing. And finally here he is next to the Bane Mega figure. So overall, I would highly, highly recommend picking this figure up because McFarlane Toys did an amazing job on this. And even if you can't find the platinum version, definitely pick up the red one because it would be just as nice as this one. Honestly, I think the Nightfall slash Night's End figures from McFarlane are probably the best DC figures that they've done. It's a storyline that I really love and I think McFarlane has captured that very well with these figures. And one thing I've learned is that all the Night's End slash Nightfall figures will always go up in value. So if there's one you're wanting, definitely get it now before it shoots up. This Platinum Azrael is already shooting up in value. So yeah, if you see this one, definitely don't pass on it because it is very awesome. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.